Hey, basketball coaches today, if you are running the Horns offense, this is a video you're not going to want to miss. What we are breaking down today are different Horns basketball drills that you can run so that you can teach your team how to run the Horns offense better. Let's get down to the clipboard. Let's check these out. First, really quickly, if you want a killer defense, go check out my unbeatable and perimeter basketball defense books down in the description below. Okay, so in this first drill, what we're going to have is player five. He's going to go up and set a screen for player one. Player one is going to use that screen, and player five is going to roll towards the basket. Player one is going to pass the ball to player five, who is not going to go in for the layup. Now, if you don't have a third line, you could go in for the layup here, and that is one of the options for this drill. But if you've got three lines going, you're going to go and have player five come to a jump stop and then pass out to player two for a three-point shot. Now, when he kicks that ball out, I want him following his pass. He's going to be taking stutter steps out to contest that shot. Player 2 is going to then take that shot. Player 5 is going to go in the back of that line. Player 2 is going to rebound. And now player 2 passes to the next person in line up top. And he's going to follow his pass. This is a great drill to run. So if you only have a small amount of players in your practice, you could just practice with layups that's totally fine but if you've got enough players in your practice to have two lines and then a man at the high post then this is the drill that you would really want to have which is just a screen attack the elbow roll pass pass follow shot very simple now the benefit to running horns drills if you're running a horns offense is now everybody on your team knows every single position in that play. You won't have a situation where you've got a guard who is now being forced to play center. Maybe there's a couple of centers who are fouled out and now he's stuck at the center position and he just doesn't know what to do with running drills. They run every single position. They learn every single position. Now this next drill is player 5 is going to set a screen down for player 1. Player 1 is going to use that screen and he's going to be attacking the paint. Now player 3 is going to pass player 1 that ball and player 1 is going to go in for that layup or that floater or the shot from somewhere in this area. Now what's going to happen here is player 3 is going to go to the high post. Player 5 is going to go in the back of that line. Player 1 rebounds, passes out to player 2, and now we can run this drill again. Very simple, very easy, and is a fantastic horns basketball play that you could run as well. Now even though these are horns basketball drills that you would normally run with a team for a 5 on 5 game, these are actually drills that you could run for a 3 on 3 team because we're running with 3 players at a time. So just some more extra plays that you could run if you are running a 3 on 3 team someday in the future or right now. Now to stack that drill, we're still going to have player 2 setting that screen out, but now this time we're going to be having player 5 set a screen for player 1. Player 1 is going to use that screen, attack that elbow, player 5 is going to roll off of that screen, and now what's going to happen is player 1 is going to pass the player 5 for that layup. Same thing as before, player 5 gets that rebound, passes out to player 4, player 2 goes in the back of that line, and now we can set this up once again. Sets a screen, attacks the elbow, rolls, layup. Now this next drill is another play that you could run as well. So player 4 is going to set that screen away, and now we're learning how to do a dribble handoff with player 1 and 3 in this case. So player 3 is going to use that screen. He's also going to be using player 1 as a screen as well, but this is going to be a dribble handoff. Now at this point, we're going to have player 3 continue to attack that rim. Player 4 is going to go in the back of that line. And player 1, he's going to be popping off of that dribble handoff. Player 3 is going to be attacking the rim. Now you as a coach has a de have a decision. You can have either player 3 go in for that layup and player 1 goes to the high post or 
Player 3 can pass to player 1 who can take that shot afterwards going to the high post and player 3 getting a rebound. Or another option is you can be standing right here as the coach and you can be saying layup or shot. So if it's a shot, player 3 needs to kick out and wait for that rebound. Or if you say layup, player 3 goes in for that layup. This is quick decision making in this case for player 3. You can also stand here as a coach and you can say it as well and now by standing in the way it makes player 3 go around you for the layup and it also makes player 3 come to a jump stop in front of you so that now he can pass it out if you do say shot. So this is a nice drill to run if you've got a younger team or even an older team and you're running a horns offense. And these drills will not just help your team learn how to run a horns offense, but these basketball drills will also help your team learn how to work as a team, learn how to dribble better, especially under pressure if you could even throw in some defenses during these drills. Also how to shoot how to do different types of screens, how to do a dribble handoff, how to make quick decisions when they're attacking the rim. Do I go in for a layup or do I kick it out for a shot? How to kick it out for a shot. There's so many different skills that they're learning with these drills. I hope that you've enjoyed today's video. Make sure to go check out my unbeatable and perimeter basketball defense books down in the description below. And I'll see you guys again next time.